hey guys it's just chanel here i don't know what that was about <laughs> but hey y'all just chanel here welcome to my channel so today's video is a grocery haul i have been fasting for the last week or so with my church we're doing 21 days of prayer and fasting um i was on vacation so i was fasting from some other things but these last two weeks i am doing the daniel fast which technically the daniel fast is a 21 day fast but i'm gonna just follow it for the next uh, 14 days so <laughs> i'm at the farmer's market and you guys know i visit this farmer's market every time i really need to do like some good grocery shopping i figured this would be perfect to do a little grocery haul i can't film a lot in here but when i get home i will be showing you guys everything that i got we're also going to go to trader joe's i haven't been to trader joe's in years okay so i'm excited about that let's go ahead and get into it all the herbs y'all so I got some mint too to do like a little mint water. Some basil over here too. For my avocado toast. Grabbing some nuts and things. All the dry fruits and nuts. I have a lot at home already from like granola. When I make granola on my channel, I'll leave the video down below. Y'all know my good sis Chris loves some plantain chips. So they have sweet plantain chips, salted ones, and garlic so i got one of each of these i think these will be some great snacks for us because we're actually both fasting Let's go to different churches but happen to both be fasting so these would be some good snacks i don't really like sunflower seeds but if you do girl i got a lot what is this so i'm gonna be back and be back oh wait hold on now no 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 i gotta get this i gotta get this right here hot pepper peach jam this would be so good on a chicken biscuit that I can't have. Y'all, there is ginger bread butter. Dark chocolate toffee sauce. Like, fig and walnut butter? Girl, when I get done with this fast, I'm about to have a whole butter jam collection at my house. Pink grapefruit marmalade. Ugh. I'm definitely going to stock up on these. I usually only use olive oil and butter, but I'm cutting butter out of my diet. So I'm going to grab some avocado oil, which I know will be great to use. I feel like this bottle is a little small. Um, and then I was thinking about possibly doing like a walnut oil, like some type of nut oil for my granola instead of using olive oil or coconut oil. There's a pumpkin seed oil. That sounds good. Oh, hazelnut. Oats for breakfast. And then y'all can see this big bag right here. It's a bunch of kale because I'll be juicing. I'm so excited and probably like sauteed kale as well. This happens to me every time I come in here. And usually, of course, I buy like fish, seafood, and meat. So I have to get another cart. But um, oh, I'm so excited. All of my juicing ingredients. <laughs> and <laughs> i don't know who i'm feeding like i i shop like i have a family of 10 at home no video okay yeah. i actually asked him if i could video just the pineapple um and he said yeah at first and then when he like realized i was videoing he was like no but they just core the whole pineapple for you which is really nice easy to juice or for smoothies cut it up you just snack all right we're out with exactly 200 dollars worth of produce nuts oils everything plant-based that you can probably think of is in this cart <laughs> uh, we're gonna go to trader joe's and try to find some like unique snacks some frozen foods and i need to get some eucalyptus as well Trader Joe's. We obviously got a lot of produce already, which I was watching um, some videos about Trader Joe's on YouTube the other day. I actually watched a video about how like Trader Joe's came about and why people love it so much. I'll leave the um, link down in the description box for the YouTube video because it's a channel that I think is really great for like entrepreneurs and just, you know, if you're interested in like how some businesses keep afloat and also just make so much money look at how big their basil is 
I'm getting some fresh herbs. Even though I already got herbs to cook with, I'm gonna get fresh herbs for my planters because they last a really long time as long as I remember to water them. Unfortunately, all the ones I had died since I was on vacation and they weren't watered for like a week. But I'm gonna go into the frozen section and see what I can find. I also got some spindrift. Y'all know I love me some club soda. So I found that here. And we also got like hummus and some ravioli. So let's see what's in the midst of this neighborhood market. I mean, <laughs> it ain't quality. <laughs> but they do have a lot of tea, y'all, which is, I like how it's on the shelf. I mean, you know. Ooh, what is this? Mint watermelon flavor. Ooh, I would actually get this if it wasn't black tea. But I don't, I personally don't like black tea. If this was like an herbal, I bet I can make this. Watermelon is tough though. So I wonder if it's like, oh, they're putting dried watermelon in it. Wow, that is impressive. I don't think I've ever had a watermelon tea. Okay, I'm gonna get it because why not? Why not put the groceries up and try this out? Wow, <laughs> it's like I said, it's not quality, okay? But sometimes I do like trying other teas, you know, get my creative juices going. And uh, ooh, if I can, if I can make this, but I want to make it caffeine free or low caffeine, we're gonna call it creativity. The whole purpose in visiting Trader Joe's was to find something unique. <laughs> And I just found these a crispy, crunchy okra. So, <laughs> I'm excited. I mean, I'm really impressed, guys. They have sparkling coconut water with Yuzi. What is that? I don't know, but I'm getting it. Maybe it's like a citrus fruit? Found this yellow jackfruit curry with jasmine rice. Uh, the only thing with frozen foods, usually they have a lot of sodium. Ooh. Yeah, it's a no for me. 580 milligrams. I think this is a place, I guess for me, since I actually know how to cook, um, to probably like get some ideas on what to cook. Like jackfruit, this, what is this? A rice cauliflower bowl? Oh wait. With marinated chickpeas, sweet potatoes, baked tofu, and roasted onions. I wasn't really planning on eating tofu, Oh my goodness, and the sodium is not like too high. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this and see if I like it. All the pizzas. Okay, made with broccoli, corn flour, black kale, olive oil, and a touch of salt. And what, how much salt is a touch? For the whole pizza? Or no, for one sixth of the crust. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get both of these actually. Cauliflower and broccoli and see. And I'll just make like my own tomato sauce without any um without any salt. Because I try to keep my salt really, really low. You already know. The frozen fruit is really affordable. I'm not gonna get any on this haul just because I do have some from last week and obviously I have a bunch of fresh produce produce. So I would prefer to use that. But I am gonna get um I don't know if this is acai or, I don't know. It says acai puree packets, unsweet and organic something puree packets. I don't know. It's unsweetened, which I like. I think I'll just get it. <laughs> and see, yeah, I think this is like acai, but I don't know why it's called acerola. These were in the video that I watched on YouTube about like how Trader Joe's markets and just how instead of saying like sour fish or sour gummies, they had they call them Scandinavian swimmers. Like just marketing and the different, just you know, it's it's like a small store. It's very like neighborhood, comfy. What am I? What is comfy? I'm saying comfy, comfortable. Um, it's just like a very homey shopping experience. What are these? Ooh, carrots. I mean, wait. Are they? Oh, they are carrots. I'm getting these. Another meal idea that I can just make myself, multi-grain lasagna. Um, it's a roasted vegetable multi-grain lasagna. So that sounds tasty. I need to go to the pasta aisle actually and find like some vegetarian uh, or vegetable pastas because that, that sounds really good. Um, 
Oh, what's this? Bruschetta in a jar. Oh, I heard that people love these. Macaroons, why are they so cold? Oh, I don't know. I guess, I didn't know you are supposed to keep them in the refrigerator. I guess so, because they like in a chilled case in the bakery. But people on YouTube, they love these things. They said they're so good. Oh, and there's like some type of chocolate cake, like, oh, I think it's this, the lava cakes that people are completely obsessed over. Obviously, I can't have any sweets, so we'll have to try that in another video. Maybe I'll do like a snacks and sweets Trader Joe's haul after my fast. Oh, and I don't know if these are the ones, but there's a ginger cookie somewhere in the, oh, it's this. It's the ginger snaps. I don't like ginger snaps, <laughs> but supposedly like these are amazing. They're like a bestseller. Found this butter, vegan butter. Um, they have this kind, which is pretty pricey, $5.29, but regular butter is kind of expensive anyway. They also have like the earth balance, but I've tried that before and I'm not a fan. So I'm gonna try this and hopefully it's great. I'll get one of these and see if I like it. Coconut Greek low fat yogurt with almond granola. Uh, wait, is it is it like dairy free? No, it has skim milk. They also have kombucha, which I'm not doing kombucha while I'm on my um, fast just cause it's, it is high in sugar. I also watched on the video that these juices they have actually are like the exact same as naked juices but they brand them themselves. Like basically the same company that does naked juices, which I believe is Pepsi, uh, makes their juice. So that's interesting. And look at this, an organic coconut smoothie. Okay, let's get it. <laughs> Try it out. Mm, it's deep. Eat, she eat, eat. I am back at home. My camera died at Trader Joe's. Sorry about that. But I will be sure to show you guys the refrigerator. I washed the majority of the produce and already put everything up. Alexa, pause. But um, I'm about to hop on a Zoom call, a church-wide Bible study. So I'm warming up the cauliflower bowl right now. We're going to see how that tastes. I'm also making some of the mint watermelon tea. I'm about to try this out. Uh, I guess I'll be up late tonight because this is a black tea so it's high in caffeine i have just a couple of things to put up once i'm done with bible study so i'm going to cut up this pineapple and then find some space in my pantry for uh, some of these nuts and like plantain chips but i'll show you guys everything when i'm when i'm done and i'm also going to prep lunch tomorrow so we'll do kind of like a little mini cook with me something easy uh healthy you know quick simple but let's see what this cauliflower bowl tastes like, sweet potatoes. I gotta see what else is in it, because I don't remember. Oh, and while I'm on my Zoom call, I'm gonna have some okra, the okra chips, okra. I don't know what they are, but we're gonna try those too. I will study tonight. We're discussing what the text actually means. This is like the second part to um, our church while our church wide Bible study. So it's about to really start, and I just why is this so close? Uh, this is the food I'm eating. It actually smells amazing, y'all. It looks really good. So it's made with tahini sauce, and it's marinated chickpeas, sweet potatoes, baked tofu, and roasted onions. I'm really pleased. Uh, I don't know what the greens, I wanna say it must be kale or something in there, and then the tea. So I'll let you guys know how everything tastes when I'm done with Bible study, and then we'll get into the refrigerator tour. Y'all, I'm feeling so good. Bible study, I just feel so good. Um, and then the caffeine from the tea obviously probably has given me some extra energy. The tea is actually really good. I would recommend it. Um, I'm going to craft this flavor profile with a better quality mint probably do like a mint trio and then the watermelon speaking of mint teas a lot of you guys have been asking me to come out with a mint tea so it is now on the site it's a mint trio tea but i want to try adding in like a watermelon essence flavor pieces uh, so that'll come later and we will call it creativity I mean, I'm ex I'm shocked. Like it wasn't salty at all. So rice cauliflower at the bottom. 
we already talked about the other ingredients tahini the chickpeas were the chickpeas were like the most flavorful part of the bowl um but god it was so good it was so good <laughs> and it only takes six minutes um no more than six minutes in the microwave it did have kale in it i looked at the ingredients on the back and there is some kale so there's also like red chili paste um there's a few herbs in here and the tofu was not bad at all which i am not a fan of tofu like i haven't had tofu in years actually but it was really good so i'm glad i got two of these because your girl will probably eat another one tomorrow um and man i wish trader joe's delivered because i would literally get like 10 of these from my freezer <laughs> it looks so green Goodness. It's really fresh. Okay. It's great. What what is hard to like process when you eat it? It's actually it tastes so good. Is the shape. Like you don't really eat anything that's this shape, so it just kind of feels weird in your mouth because it's pointy, you know? But when you get over making sure you crunch that pointy part. Wow, this is incredible. The refrigerator. Alexa, pause. All right, so this is what the fridge is looking like. Um, it won't stay like this because I have to juice. I'm gonna make like ice cubes for juicing and then this entire um, bowl up here with apples oranges is for juicing so I plan to make like a carrot orange ginger juice um, for the mornings and then a green juice with like apples and pears uh, that's the plan that's what I have on the top shelf lots of fruit I have some cut up pineapple and strawberries and then my blueberries I need to cut up the watermelon but I probably won't do that until the day that I decide to eat it which I'm thinking will be like in the next couple of days. I'll probably try this coconut smoothie in the morning. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but I got some edible flowers because I figured this would be really nice. Um, not to actually eat because I don't want to eat them, but uh, to, you know, just like decorate my plate to make my uh, plating look nicer when I'm doing cook with me's and like all my Instagram and stuff. They were at the farmer's market, so why not? Uh, salad ingredients. So we have like spring greens here, arugula, some bib lettuce in the back to make, uh, I was thinking making like lettuce wraps. And then Brussels sprouts have carrots back there, mushrooms. I realized that that ravioli has cheese. I ended up getting like a mushroom type of one and didn't look at the ingredients. So it has cheese, I'll be freezing that. It's like back there, y'all can kind of see the packaging. Some tomatoes, which with this top one, I'm gonna make uh, sun-dried tomatoes, which I've made several times on my channel. So I'll try to find the videos that I made sun-dried tomatoes. If not, follow me on Instagram and it's definitely in my highlights. And then I just have herbs here. Um, well, wait, what is this? No, this is okra. So I went ahead and, you know, washed everything. So you have okra in this bag, green beans in this bag, and then parsley and some other herbs in there. My kale for juicing, spinach for juicing, celery for juicing. This is um, a cucumber, like an English cucumber, which I'll be using for my chickpea salad I'm gonna make soon. Eggplant for eggplant parmesan, cucumbers and carrots for juicing, tomatoes, you know, for sauces and other things. Um, I like to use like the tomatoes on the vine when I'm making like my own marinara sauce or um, like tomato soup, whatever. Then I have herbs and more herbs back here that I didn't wash because I think I'm gonna get paper towels, y'all, or either paper towels or I need to just wash um, my thinner like dish towels to keep those nice and dry while they're in the refrigerator. And then we have the produce drawers, which of course everything is washed. I think it's just so much easier to go ahead and clean everything um, as soon as you get home from the store before you put it in your refrigerator. And that way you just know it's ready to go. It's like if you're running out the door, you can just grab whatever. I guess you wouldn't grab a kiwi, but you can grab a pear, an apple, and um, you just take a bite out of it instead of having to grab a paper towel and you know, rinse it off and da 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 da, da. Okay, anyway, 
but i got some really interesting vegetables so obviously avocado squash zucchini some broccolini some regular broccoli um but i also decided to get a few different types of eggplant so this is thai eggplant and i met someone at the farmer's market that was actually thai she said you can eat this raw and then you can also like cook it down so i was thinking of doing like maybe a cauliflower rice um like thai curry type of situation um, with the eggplant and I got some Thai chili so I think this will be like really good and then this is Indian eggplant so I got some marsala I believe it's called different types of uh, seasonings like cultural seasonings so yeah I'm gonna try making a few different like dishes with these eggplant and then I have some jalapenos. I plan to make sweet potato nachos with like black beans, jalapenos, um, tomatoes and stuff. So that'll be really good and I think that's it. All of my lemons and limes I keep on my bar cart. Oh and this is my like cheese drawer. I won't actually be eating any of this but I'll keep cheese in the refrigerator just in case I do have friends over and like if I make nachos like the what is it the sweet potato nachos and they want cheese on it or something i'll just have it on hand but i also got the hummus so i'll probably eat this with some of my carrot sticks and then this pesto which i'm sure i'm gonna make like a zucchini noodle pesto or even regular noodles because i got um i'm pretty sure i got like vegetable noodles or some type of like healthy noodle so that's what the fridge is looking like of course my club soda down here with some coconut water i'm gonna try out um and then i keep my like regular water at room temperature so that is somewhere else i'm gonna go ahead and soak my almonds for almond milk ready in the refrigerator I'm just gonna add water to this and let it sit overnight shout out to my little planters basil and mint in this one I figured those two fit well together like in case they get each other's scent it's okay usually I use basil for avocado toast and then mint I'm just gonna use for water so or I may just put a little bit in my clip soda I'm so tired oh my gosh okay, I'm gonna go ahead and knock this eucalyptus out because when I take my shower tonight it's gonna be a whole spa like vibe so i just um use this like jute string to tie eucalyptus together to make a pretty large bunch i do um keep one of the rubber bands and then i just hang it right on my shower head time to prep lunch for tomorrow i'm making a quinoa chickpea salad i've been making this for years and years like whenever i eat vegetarian vegan whatever the case is um this is definitely one of my go-to's so just cucumber tomato cilantro some lemon to kind of make my own dressing you can use um, like an italian dressing if you like but the one i have has cheese in it so since i'm doing the daniel fast i'm not going to use that i'm just going to make my own dressing with some olive oil and uh, white wine vinegar and then of course you need chickpeas quinoa which i already have cooked um, i just cooked it in a little bit of water i added raw onions randomly but um, water garlic and my homemade sun-dried tomatoes is what i cooked like kind of like i guess the broth i cooked it in and i'm also gonna add some shredded carrots so let's go ahead and make this real quick it's really good if you uh, let it sit overnight and then you can actually use it as a topping on your lettuce if you are eating meat you can even add meat to it if you like but it's just very hearty um it's filling and it's full of protein as well plant-based proteins
All right, lunch prep for tomorrow is ready. I'm just gonna stick it in here and it's best when it sits like for a couple of days actually. So I'll be eating this um, probably for the next like three days. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am tired, okay, still tired. Wait, I was filming a vlog today and I said that earlier in my vlog. I just, my content days have been really, wow. Like I've been filming three videos at once. Does that make sense? Like vlogging, like I'm doing two vlogs, two different topic vlogs right and a content video all in the same day so it gets kind of confusing like what video i said what in but anyway i'm tired so i hope you guys enjoyed this one grocery haul i will of course be coming with the cook with the me's okay so make sure you're subscribed and your post notifications are turned on let me know what you're most excited about for me to cook in the comments um i think for me it's definitely the eggplant parmesan um and yeah those rice cauliflower bowl thingies i gotta get some more so my whole freezer will probably be full of those in the next few days because i just can't believe i'm still full like it's been hours since i had dinner and it's definitely way past my bedtime uh, but i'm glad i got all this shopping all this grocery shopping done today that way i don't have to leave the house for like the next two weeks <laughs> okay guys i'm out of here thanks for watching bye